Hello, I'm Bill Spurlock, Director of Rutherford County Schools. I'd like to take a few moments to speak with you on career and technical education. The goal of every educator is to prepare students for college and careers. Now, we understand that college lasts a finite amount of time, whereas a career lasts a lifetime. Currently in the United States, college student loan debt is at $1.7 trillion. Now, this is not only unsustainable, it's unnecessary. Our mission statement in Rutherford County Schools is to empower today's students to grasp tomorrow's opportunities. These opportunities not only exist in our core classes, but they also exist in our career and technical education classes. We have 39 programs of study, and within each one of those programs of study, we have a multitude of career clusters. We have in our classes the ability for students to not only get high school credit, but also college credit. And some can even take a industry certification test and be prepared for some of the most challenging and the most rewarding careers. We are strong proponents of a career technical education. My name is Morgan Tarpley. I am our floral department head as well as our houseplant girl. Uh, meaning that everything around I take care of and I make sure it lives until someone else takes it home um, to love on it even more. Uh, I went to Riverdale High School here in Murfreesboro and I was involved in the FFA chapter there. I went to Riverdale, so as we all know I'm from Murfreesboro. I grew up in a like suburban household, no farm background or anything like that. Um, so FFA really allowed me to get into that pathway and I had no idea what I wanted to do until I was there. Um, so I'm really grateful for all of that and I basically just made a career out of my hobby. So that's really cool. Um, I went to the University of Tennessee after high school where I was, um, I was in the Herbert College of Agriculture uh, and I got a degree in plant science which kind of allows me to do lots of different things in the same realm of plants. So yeah, that's a little bit about me. So my day typically starts out with taking a walkthrough of my department and making sure that all of my plants are happy, none look like they're dying. Um, and then I will go around and I'll think of things to do for my team. So I have a few people that work under me. And what my job is, is to make sure that they have things to do while they are here. Um, we're constantly cleaning, moving things. This is a retail business, so not only do we grow the plants, but we also have to make sure that they're shoppable. Um, and that when people take them home, they are in the best condition they can be. So that could be we run a sale because some things are a little tired and they've been here for a while. Um, I water constantly, pretty much, especially in the spring and summer. Um, and I just look for new ways to improve the shopping experience while still taking care of all of the plants. So that's mostly what I do in a day. I love my job because I can't think of anything more fun for me than working with plants and just being around beauty. It's scientifically proven that plants make us happy. Um, so I don't really see how anybody could work this job and not love it. Um, I love that I get to be outside year round. That's pretty wonderful, especially in a climate controlled building like this one. Um, and I love that there's always something new to find out about plants and that each one is different and they all look different, they all act different and they all need different things. They're kind of like us. So um, plants are just the best thing in the world and I love them. So, yep. <laughs> Hello, my name is Amanda Newberry. I'm in the horticulture pathway at Oakham High School, and I'm a senior this year. I actually didn't choose this pathway, ironically. So what happened was, is I was going into a nutrition pathway, but then I got accidentally placed into this pathway, and I've loved it ever since. So even if you get placed into another one, you should join this pathway. <laughs> so some of the things I get to do in class is actually right behind me. So we get to plant plants, which are my favorite things to do. And also you get to be away from like the textbook classroom that you're usually in. You get to take a break and be able to learn with your hands and be able to communicate with students in ways that you wouldn't be able to in the classroom. So that's some of the best things that I get to do in class. So some of the most important skills that I have learned is A, leadership. I'm actually able to look into a camera and talk. And I wouldn't have been when I was a middle school student. And then some of the other things that I've learned is 
it sounds kind of cheesy, but like being able to keep my plants alive at home and you know, just learning more about ag in general has helped me not only to understand food production, but also understand how a little bit how the world works and how ag is so important. I'd say my favorite experience, one of them would be I get to come into the greenhouse every day and work with plants, like I said. It's such a therapeutic relief. <laughs> but then I also get to experience um, like hands-on learning and being able to be out of the traditional classroom and being able to take those experiences and use them in real life, such as, like I said, taking care of my plants but also being able to do experiments and learn and grow from any of the things that you do in this pathway. So like I said previously, I didn't actually sign up, but then when I did, it was such an amazing class. So when you do sign up, you'll actually get a little bit more benefits than what I did when I first came into the class. But ultimately, I think you should sign up for this class because it has given me such good lifelong experiences that you can't get anywhere else. I mean, how are you going to learn how to take care of your grandma's plants when she doesn't have them anymore? <laughs> but um, realistically, though, it has been my favorite class and will continue to be one of the lifelong skills that I've learned and will keep on learning until I still use these skills. <laughs> I think one of the most important things students should know is that this class is going to be used no matter what. Like, you know when you're in math class and you look at these equations and you're thinking, okay, this is never going to be used in my life whatsoever. But with this class, you will actually use these things and learn on them. And you might find an interest that actually excites your knowledge. For me, it was plants. I learned that I love plants. So when I grow up, I want to become something that involves plants. And I think that's so important to me is that I've actually found what I love to do. Hello, I am Rachel McClanahan and I am the Horticulture Pathway teacher here at Oakland High School. I love my industry because I love plants. Um, I didn't really know a whole lot about plants growing up. It wasn't something that I really was introduced to until I got to high school and I took a greenhouse, greenhouse management course of my own. Whenever I took that class in high school, it inspired me to work at another greenhouse in town. So I worked for Valley Growers uh, for a couple of years when I was in high school and college. And then I actually led me into a career for a little while into landscape design, which was pretty cool. So this was all before I went to college. It's not so, whenever I decided to become an ag teacher, I thought, you know, I wanna do something where I can teach students about plants. Not necessarily work with plants every day, which I still get to do every day, but I wanna teach others about them. I love my industry because it's horticulture is super hands-on and it's really students can study anything in horticulture from the conception of the seeds all the way to the finished product at the grocery store or retail center um, wherever plants are sold and also horticulture is pretty, pretty interesting because it's very similar to animals in a sense that you can study pathology if you're interested in pests or diseases you can also study genetics um, plant reproduction really anything that has to do with, with plant care. Students experience quite a bit in this class as far as hands-on. Um, really, they're 100% responsible for everything that happens in this greenhouse. So my students are responsible for planting the seeds, uh, filling soil pots, looking for pests and diseases, and they're also responsible for really I mean, managing the greenhouse. So this is a business where we have a plant sale in the spring, and the students really are responsible for not like 99 to 100% of the work. I really, I really just serve as a manager and as a mentor to these students. A lot of them have many projects that they're passionate about that they get to work on in the greenhouse. For example, which I'll, I can show it to you here in a second, um, but we also have like mixed pots that students are responsible for creating different designs in. And at the end of the school year, they get to sell them, which is also very cool. So students, it's a pretty hands-on experience for everyone. This is one of my favorite classes to teach just partially because I enjoy being outside, I enjoy working with my hands, and I love seeing students get excited when things flower in the greenhouse for the very first time or they see something that they did that's starting to grow. It's pretty exciting for me. Students should choose this career. Number one, if you just want a job in general, agriculture is the number one employer in the United States. And so if you're interested in taking care of plants or animals or working with your hands in any way, and you are unsure of what you want to do for a living, agriculture is always hiring. We are always needing to feed the world. We're always needing to put grass in people's lawns, um, to produce animals, 
for you know market breeding all types of things so if you're interested in a career in general then i definitely recommend agriculture is your choice but really in, in specifics of the horticulture career i think horticulture is something that people are becoming more interested in so if you're kind of into wanting to do a, a career that's more up and coming and more interesting and different i mean seriously there are jobs from all lifespans of plants just like there are in humans and animals um, so if you enjoy working with your hands every day and you enjoy coming to work and working outside, then I definitely encourage you to pursue a degree in horticulture.